Police would arrive on scene locating an unresponsive 10 year old boy who'd been shot at one house and a 37 year old male who'd been shot at another. Ten years while securing old. the crime scene, the fire department began life saving aid while transporting the victims to a hospital seven minutes away. The 37 year old would then be life flighted to another hospital, but 10 year old Lamar J. Holden would never wake up. Yeah. Whoa. YouTube town family, what's the biz? Y'all already know what it is. Sending them positive vibes to my Todd Town family. Y'all know how I rock. If you haven't already, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and notification button so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest content you don't want to miss. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Anywho, without further ado, welcome to Todd Town. I was sitting in my front room watching TV, and I like her. Four five shot, bam, 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 about four or five times. Somebody just killed my son for no reason. In moments like these, we need to come together. Come together. As a community yeah. and show love and support for one another. Put the guns down, no more violence. It's really sad, it's upset and sad. August 9th, 2023. It was 3 p.m. when 911 began receiving calls in the small city of Franklin, Virginia. Gunfire had erupted in the 300 block of Otis Street, a short dead end with some upkept and some rundown homes. Police would arrive on scene locating an unresponsive 10 year old boy who'd been shot at one house and a 37 year old male who'd been shot at another. Ten years while securing old. the crime scene, the fire department began life-saving aid while transporting the victims to a hospital seven minutes away. The 37-year-old would then be life-flighted to another hospital, but 10-year-old Lamar J. Holden would never wake up. Investigators would speak with witnesses at the scene who stated four people arrived at the home of an adult male. A woman inside the home yelled for the five children playing outside to get inside. An altercation broke out between her husband and the four people that pulled up. That's when one of them drew a gun and opened fire. Ten-year-old Lamar J. Holden, a neighbor who'd been playing with the kids at the home, had ran inside with the rest of them. He was peeking out the blinds to see what was going on when he was shot in the head. Damn. His body fell limp against the front door. Damn, that's crazy. The door, and Lamar J. collapsed on the front porch unresponsive one of the boy's relatives would pick his limp body up off the porch running him to his own home to his own family where ems later found him witnesses would speak with investigators providing descriptions of the shooter and officers would eventually identify the killer as 24 year old tashonda drayton who's also known as the rapper 23 brazy Warrants would go out for the Great. big body 5 foot 11, 250 pound female on charges of first degree <laughs> wait, murder, wait. attempted murder, malicious hey, that's wounding, comedy work shooting right into there. an occupied dwelling, use of a firearm in the commission of a felony, threat to burn or damage a building, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and discharging a firearm in a Goofy. public space. Come to find out, 23 Brazy was out on bail at the time of the shooting. Days later, Crazy. US Marshals would announce a $5,000 reward that was quickly raised to 10,000 for information leading to her capture. She was to be considered armed and dangerous with ties to the Hampton Roads area of Virginia. By now, her face was all over the news, social media, and YouTube. Her Instagram would be taken down, comments on her music videos would be turned off, and the hunt was on to locate the child killer. It would become even more disturbing as lyrics found in one of her videos would describe spraying kids with gunfire. If you be for the robber, pop up and show. The only thing is kids for show. Four months after the murder, Boy, the U.S. Lame. Marshals would yet again raise the oh, reward, goofy this time offering $20,000 to anyone with information, leading to 23 That's the corniest self-snitching The Marshals would state heard. she's known to identify as a male 
and goes by the name Berlin Montreux and the nickname Punny. Come to find out, Punny Too Brazy was her original rap name and she would change it after the death of a close friend. Back in April of 2020, officers responded to a shooting where they found 23-year-old Stephen White III dead at the scene. Over 40 shell casings would be recovered, and the following day when medical examiners conducted an autopsy, they stopped counting the bullet wounds because there were so many. Stephen White III was known as Three Brazy, and his death would be the birth of Brazy Gang, Three World, and Punny's new name, 23 Brazy. Following his passing, 23 Brazy can be seen amongst family and friends showing love to Three, and her affiliation at this point is clear. With the $20,000 reward out, U.S. Marshals will now state she has ties up and down the East Coast from New York to Atlanta, and it's likely her affiliation is what the Marshals were referring to. What would come as a surprise was she wasn't in a different state. In fact, she was only 20 miles from where 10-year-old Lamar J died, and 10 months after his death, she'd be captured. A Franklin fugitive on the run for nearly a year is caught by U.S. Marshals in Southampton County. I'm at Brookside Square Apartments where Tashonda Drayton was taken into custody after a 10-month manhunt. One woman who asked that we conceal her identity had just stepped out her door with a cup of coffee and was met with dozens of U.S. Marshals. It was scary. It was very, very scary. She watched in disbelief as Drayton was escorted away from the building. There's a lot of children out here. And then the fact that, you know, that they had her here. It's a moment Senior Inspector Robert Bowers with the U.S. Marshal Service has waited for since August. And then Drayton came to the top of the stairs and said she was coming out and she said she had her hands up. And at that point, I visibly saw, was able to see that it was Drayton. On Tuesday, U.S. Marshals found Drayton hiding in an apartment directly across from the best friend's home. U.S. Marshals would announce that despite a $20,000 reward, they didn't receive any credible tips. They believe a few people knew of 23 Brazy's whereabouts and that she stayed inside for months at a time without moving. Investigators spent countless hours surveilling yeah, the she had to Square looking like that in Southampton as they learned that's where 23 Brazy's best friend lived. Mm. And on June 18th, 2024, Marshalls knocked on an apartment unit's door to which a female came out. Shortly after, 23 Brazy surrendered. Come to find out she'd been living with a woman who later admitted she was 23 Brazy's cousin. It's believed her family had assisted her in hiding early on in the investigation, and at this time, no charges against the family have been filed for hiding the alleged child killer. With her capture a sure sign of relief for the victim's family, this is only the beginning of a case that may take years to finish. 23 Brazy is facing life in prison as Virginia was the first southern state to abolish the death penalty. Hmm. At trial, the family will have to relive the nightmare that took their 10-year-old boy Crazy. and 23 Brazy will have to plead her case. It appears clear that he wasn't the intended target as she fired at a man while striking his home. But any legal gun owner understands he or she is not only responsible for the gun, but every bullet inside of it that's fired from it. Fact. 23 Brazy's actions then, along with running from the law, will likely see no remorse from a judge or jury. The fact that she removed all comments on YouTube but not her videos shows she still wants the fame, she just doesn't want the criticism. But all that 10 year old boy wanted was to play outside. We'll just have to wait and see how this case unfolds. I send my condolences to the victim's family and all of those affected by what happened. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. Till next time. Yo, he violated with that description though. <laughs> Big body, 5'11", 250 pound. What do you say, man? Yeah, he violated with that one, man. RP, first of all, my condolences to the to the you know to the 10 year old and his family. Again, man, unfortunate event. Keep it keep it to the streets, man. We trying to save the kids. We trying to save the innocent. That's the whole movement. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 really no excuse at the end of the day. And then for the simple fact 
fact that, you know, you could say it was an accident in your dwelling of trying to, you know, pursue whatever it is you was trying to do. But the fact that you rapping about it, you got lyrics about killing and shooting kids, that's when it was just kind of like, okay, yeah, now you goofy. Now I ain't, I really, I can't really respect you. You know what I'm saying? I really can't respect you after that. It say he ain't the intended target, but you rapping as if like that's what y'all doing. So, you know, that, that kind of makes you lose all credibility right there. You know what I mean? And respect. Because at the end of the day, like I said, we trying to keep the innocent, the kids, the women, man, they, they keep them out of that. You know what I mean? When you going out to doing your business, keep it within that, within that, you know what I'm saying? You know how it go, man. So it's an unfortunate event. RP again, man. And y'all already know how it go, man. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you.